Uh, you hear that? Yeah. No lawnmowers, no hedge trimmers, no weed whackers, no neighbors building their own ICBM silos. Just quiet. I can finally do some recording. Hi folks, my knife here. And it's uh, it's been quite the week. Oh, I want to make some more uh, torches here. Um, when I put up the first video in this series last weekend, I had uh, 179 subscribers. And as I do this one, I have 228 or something. So that's like uh, 50. That's almost a one-third increase. Oops, I need to put another log in. And uh, so that's a, like, for, you know, a small subscriber base, that's a huge leap. <clears throat> so for those of you that don't know, um, Etho, he of uh, Minecracker and uh, Minecraft Challenge video fame, uh, he started up his own TFC series. And you should go over there and watch it. If, if you like what I do, then you'll probably like what he does as well, because um, he's... He's humorous and takes a fairly thoughtful approach to playing the game, so it's interesting to see it. But he hasn't played it very much. I think he just played, like, one kind of very, very partial thing to get the feel for it. So you get to watch uh, Etho fail at things, which is which can be amusing if you've seen Etho's other videos. Um, and so when he did that, it got his 1.5 million subscribers all excited, and his half a million viewers of that video decided to go and find out more about TFC, which pretty much immediately crashed the TFC servers. And so they've now had to migrate onto new servers just to handle that load. And uh, well, let's put some of these torches up, or one of them at any rate. And I think that partially explains why I suddenly got this big influx of views as well. People were suddenly interested in all things TFC, so you know some of them found my videos and, uh, and watched those as well, and, and I guess figured that they might learn a little bit more about it by watching me play. So I figure, like, of those, uh, what did I say it was? I went from 179 to two, so 50. So of those 50 new subscribers, I figure, you know, maybe five of them were due to Etho. Maybe six of them were people looking for uh, for squid porn. And all the rest are just because, you know, the fame of my knife has spread across the interwebs, and, and people just know to come here and see me. I am, of course, joking. It was mostly for the squid porn. All right, so what else can I do here? It's daylight. Let's see what we can do out there. Maybe it's not as daylight as I thought it was. Ah, it looks safe. Cool. Okay, so what do we have to do today? We need crops. we got to get some crops in the ground. So we can't live off this rotting meat forever. In fact, how much rotting is our meat doing? Oh, look at that, 0.2% decay. That one hasn't decayed at all. Ooh, 1.4, that's starting to get up there. Yeah, the more the meat rots, or the more rotting, the more decay there is on the meat, the faster it will decay. So it's worth your while to either eat off the decay, I know, ick poo, get used to it, you're a caveman, or, uh, or cut it away with a knife. But we need crops, and I haven't found anything plantable yet, so let's get on to that. So I have fresh water. I have a hovel. Oh yeah, a few other things I want to mention. Um, who was it? N Twitch, I think it was, pointed out to me when I was talking in the first episode about uh, gold panning, and I was saying that uh, it brings you ores from, you know, the area, you know, around you, ores that are normally present in the area around you. Um, that's how it used to work. Apparently, though, in now in the current builds, it doesn't do that anymore. It just gives you a random chance of any of the possible ores that are in the game. So, so it no longer, you can no longer say, oh, wow, well, you know, I got some, uh, some tetrahedrite in my pan. There must be some tetrahedrite nearby because that's not necessarily true. Here we go. Uh, rye, wheat, was it? Wheat. Okay. We have our first thing we can plant. Oh, there's more over here. Uh, what is there? Oh, um, and Dunk, Dunkleosteus who's uh, one of the developers of TSC, um, when I was talking about the death pits, I thought some of them had been put in intentionally, and he says, no, actually, they're trying to get rid of them, is that they're all accidental. So it isn't just the developers being mean and nasty to us. It's, it's just that some of the uh, underground structures, particularly the new um, 
Oh, good. Onions or garlic. The new hot springs that they put into the game, um, they often don't fully break the surface, and then that's how you end up with the death pits. Is that onions or garlic? Garlic. Oh, well, onions would be better, but onions grow a bit faster than garlic, which is why I prefer them. You uh, get a crop in sooner. Uh, already running out of room. Let's combine all these garlic. There we go. Oh, do I remember my way back? Well, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to lay down a marker for home base. Do, do, do. I get lost so easily. Um, and I was speculating about, I was saying how the hot springs currently don't really have much use. Uh, later in the game, or like later when they've uh, put in more of the body temperature stuff, you'll be able to use hot springs to keep warm. But right now you don't get cold, so <laughs> it doesn't matter that the hot springs keep you warm. And by the way, I was saying that, so the only use right now is that, oh, okay, that's interesting. All right, let's take a hot point for this. And what do we want? Uh, this is bismuthonite. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I was saying that uh, the only purpose you could put it through is it might be another source of fresh water. And uh, Kai2, K-A-E-T-W-O, uh, he said that no, in fact, that the water in hot springs is not uh, potable. So no, you can't use it for that. Have I got lost already? Wouldn't that be awful? Oh! Oh no, that's the bismuth. Oh, it's doing that for me. Yeah. If only I had thought to mark where I came from. Well, let's see if it's over here. I don't remember the desert, though. No, definitely not here. Oh, there's more trees over there. Maybe that's it. Oh, what else do we have? Oh, and the other problem with when you're panning for ores, I was, talking, I was pointing out how they tend to fly off in all directions, and they can sometimes even like fly outside the hut you're in. Uh, that's been fixed now in build 78.13. So, see, things just keep on getting better. Oh, we have an interesting little uh, ravine here. Did I get down it safely? Ooh, need a shovel. There we go. Oh yeah, that reminds me of a little trick I want to show you too. Do it later. First, let's just see it. Actually, I shouldn't even be doing this because I gotta find food, but. Alright, 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 I'll go find food. Each thing in its time. Actually, first I have to find home. <laughs> Well, I would say that the stub of a tree standing there is a pretty good sign if I'm on my way back. And just so we don't run into this problem again, let's flag this spot. There we go. Okay, um, I'm going to need a hoe to put this stuff in. So let's... where are we here? Here's me stone. Um, hoe. There's a hoe head and... 
what can I toss? Well, for now, we'll just toss up the wheat. Okay. Gives me a hoe. And let's combine this wheat. There we go. Okay, now the thing I was talking about before is saying you can recognize fresh water because it's fresh, so there's cattails growing in it. Do we have any salt water out here? That's all fresh too. Um, salt water has this dark seaweed-like plant down at the bottom. Hmm. Have to explore that later. But I don't think we have any around here. Um, but you'll sometimes come across bodies of water that don't have either. And so you can go and stand in it and watch to see if your legs are soaking up any you know, water like this. But it's kind of slow sometimes. Uh, another way is if you happen to have a hoe on you, um, you can hold a piece of ground and set it to hydrated mode. So if the hold piece of land is blue, then that means it's got fresh water hydrating it. So just go out and whack a piece of, hold a piece of land right next to the water and check its hydration. If it shows up black, that means it's salt water. So. Okay, but we have a fine area here. for growing some crops. So let's start our first crops, shall we? Oh, I can combine the garlic too. Save some room there. So we'll start with wheat. And, oh, we got six garlic. Awesome. Yeah, I think it's the same as in Minecraft that water only hydrates up to a distance of four. So, and since we have new buckets with which to cart the water around with us in, uh, we're forced to just plant everything near uh, your coast. Okay, what time is it anyway? Uh, we got like another hour before the sun sets. Where else can I look for some food? Let's go over here. We haven't been this way. We certainly have lots of clay, that's for sure. Ooh. Oh, that's handy. Lemonite. Lemonite is uh, an ore of uh, iron. So we can't use it yet, but once we've worked our way up the metallurgical chain, it will be very nice to have some iron ore handy. Well, I don't see any crop-like plants up in there. What I generally do is I try and get a little bit of height, and most of the crops are brighter green than the grass. So you just look for flecks of bright green, and the uh, sugar cane are always annoying because they always show through and you go, oh, oh my god, I found a crop. And then it's just sugar cane. Not the sugar cane doesn't have its uses too. Where else? Ooh, oh, look at that. I uh, can't use that right now too. It's, that's a nice find. Um, well, there's no point going up there since we can't mine it out anyway. That stuff up there, that's kaolinite. Um, it's a form of fossilized clay, and you use it to make fire brick. Like in the game, you use it to make fire brick. In the mod. No. Uh, looks like it's going to be another night stuck in the hut. Best to get back to it before the mobs take over. Although I've been in the area long enough now, I've got a bit of I should have a bit of mob protection, spawn protection. So, oh, no, that's just another flower. Oh no, it isn't squash. Okay, I'm gonna let these ripen up um, since they're already well on their way, and it'll just if I pull them up now and take them, it'll just take longer. So. I won't bother laying down a beacon because I'm pretty sure I can find them again. Uh, famous last words, but I'm confident. I have confidence in myself on this. All right. Oh, here come the missile silo builders again. Mm 
Hmm. So what can I do here? I guess I can pan for some more, because if I can get enough copper, I can start building some tools. Um, what else could I do? I could fire up some more molds, which I should do anyway. So, okay, so that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to start another... Do I have enough of everything? Oh, I don't have any, uh, straw. Uh. Alright, well, let's see if I can get some. Only need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And because I'm greedy, nine, ten. Oh, yes, my greed will be the end of me. <laughs> I am the straw king. Although, why you get straw from cutting grass, I don't know. It should be hay, but hey, it's straw. Okay. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to... Um, I guess, I guess I'll make up the molds while you can see, just for those of you that aren't familiar with any of it. Um, okay, the things I'm going to want most early on are a pickaxe. And that's how you make the mold for a pickaxe. And I should, don't have much room here, so I'll put them right in the kiln right away. I will need a saw. Two other things, but I don't get room for one more. Uh, let's go with the pro pick. A prospector's pick, which is like this. Okay. Oh, I don't have any ore yet to fire up, so... So I'll have to wait on that bit. But anyway, so those are those. The other one that I was thinking of, might as well make up the mold now, is it's a pretty easy one, is a chisel. And the reason the chisel is so important is because you need the chisel to uh, chisel out smooth stone block to make smooth stone blocks. And you need smooth stone blocks to make a quern. And you need a quern to grind up, uh, to grind up all your uh, grains into flour so you make bread. Mind you, we're a long way from harvesting it. Well, mind you, we have grain on us, like here. I guess I can show you the processing of that while we're at it, too. Um, so, you know, it's on the stock. We have wheat grain on the stock. So you basically cut off the stock and get at the actual grain itself. And what you won't have noticed is an extra straw popped into my inventory. Now, that's really where straw comes from. Um, so, you know, when you cut the when you cut the stalks away from the uh, grain that you've harvested, the stalks become a straw in your inventory, and then you get the grain itself. So, and then we would need a quern to grind that into flour. So, but that's not going to happen for a while. All right. So, um, I'll uh, come back to you in the morning when um, when the sun's back up. And we can do more exploring, and in the meantime, I'm going to pan for copper. See you in a bit. Well, uh, that might have been a bust or it might have been a success it depends on how you view it so i did a bunch of panning and i i found a whole bunch i panned out a whole bunch of copper nuggets nine or i brought my total up to nine which is exactly one short of what i need to make any tools so it was a success yeah. um i also went through i'll oh, see there's decay now even though i just recently uh went and cut all the decay off these and the two vessels I had here with uh, food in them, uh, it was all pork. Um, they were quite a bit decayed too. So I cut the decay off them and I buried them under here because if they're in a dark place, that also helps. So being inside a vessel reduces the rate of decay. Being in a dark place reduces the rate of decay. And the cooler the temperature, uh, the rate of decay, the less the rate of decay. And that's what's killing me here is what's the temperature here? 31 degrees. So... That's why it's all decaying so fast. Anyways, it's uh, laid outside again. And I have so much stuff here, man. Actually, what I should have done, I should have just made more vessels last night. Oh, well, that didn't even occur to me. 
Here, let's stack these up here so we're not carting them around with us. I don't need to carry this gravel around with me. And I'm betting I don't need the dirt either. There, that frees up a bit of room. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, I could get rid of these bowls. Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, let's see if I remember how you do this. Um, I don't really have room in here, so I uh, set up a meal preparation area. So you put down a log, and then with some bowls in your inventory, and a knife. There you go. Uh, we'll get into meals later. Right now I'm just using it to get the bowls out of my inventory. Okay. Uh, what direction? Let's go in this direction. We are looking for crops. And if you see some interesting minerals along the way, that would be nice too. But we do have our farm started. We have two crops in. A short-term crop, the garlic. Ooh, a bit of a lag. Must be mountains up ahead. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Ooh, is that a real chicken or is that a pheasant? That's a pheasant. That's a pig. Okay. Yeah, pheasants used to lay eggs. I'll have to wait and see. I don't know if they still do now. But we shall see. Don't see any flecks of green out there. Yeah, so garlic's our short-term crop and uh, wheat is our long-term one. And this here is a lovely, lovely cabbage. So we'll get both the cabbage itself and the seed to plant. Come on, there's got to be more. Yeah, here's another one here. Yes, go us. Ah, you guys are just watching. You're not doing anything. Go me. I'm the one doing all the work. Uh, what else we got here? Do, 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 do. Where's that beacon now? Oh, I can't even see it from here. Really? Huh. I would thought it'd be visible farther than that. Maybe it's behind a tree. Um, oh, a fruit tree. Laden with fruit. And a nice little hole in the way to trap the unwary. Was this cherries? Looks like cherries. Yes, indeed. Cherries. Awesome. So now we're going to have some fruit in our diet. That'll help. Okay. Yeah, we just have to keep compressing things down. It'll be a little bit easier once we... Uh, you notice how there, I only have a 2x2 two two crafting grid here, but there's faded out the others. Once we build ourselves a crafting table, that'll expand our crafting grid. But for that, we will need a saw. Okay. All right. And that'll allow us to compress down nine at a time, which will be a little bit faster as well. Ooh, this is lots of fruit. I love this. Ah, we have... We're starting to get full up. So that's a full 160 now. And that's getting close as well. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. What else we got here? Uh, there's some more around here. Ooh, gold. Uh, another ore that we can't really do anything with right now. Might as well mark it, eh? Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Just 
just want to avoid that 160 guy. Um, what have we got here? I'm starting to run out of room. I'm all cherried out. Okay. Uh, let's do the last. Okay, he's a 15, he's a 160, he's a 160, he's a 57, 11. Okay. And do we have an axe? We do not have an axe. Let's make an axe. Oh, that's right. I went through all my axes cutting down that big sequoia. Okay. You up here. You in there. And we'll take one of these home with us as a souvenir. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Come on. Oh, I didn't get a single sapling. Well, that sucks. Well, freed up some more cherries that I can get at. Mm, who we got here? Him. Him. Ooh, lots and lots and lots of fruit. All right, oh, it's getting dark. Time to head home. Oh, and I'm thirsty. I cannot run. Let's correct that right away. And that's also the hole I don't want to fall in. Can I beat the bad guys? Oh, and I still have to pick up my uh, thatch when I get home too. Oops. What the purdy beacon? Okay, give me my thatch. Oh, first things first, I gotta put something down to make room. Well, uh, it wasn't too bad. We got some more stuff, but I desperately need to make some room. Yeah, okay, so I can do a bit here. Well, actually, I can use these guys here. He's Kapok. So let's just fill some of these, uh, some of these log piles in. And put the remaining guy here. Now we got some room. And I need to eat. I've got 115 of those, only 95 of those. Let's start going through that. Oh, that's the other thing you notice know, there's some decay on the garlic. You can eat eat the decay. <laughs> Alright, well I think that's pretty much going to be it uh, for this episode. Uh, I've got another night here. I am i don't have any clay on me, so I might venture out and try and get some clay so that I can make up a few more uh, vessels because I need the storage space pretty badly. Um, I can't do any more gold panning here because I've exhausted the area. I mean, I still have more gravel, but I have to, I'd have to go to a new chunk and pan it there. So uh, that's not going to work. Um, so it's going to be, other than that, a pretty boring night, so I won't make you suffer through it instead. I uh, hope to see you back here for Season 3. Bye now.